Hey, what's up guys? This is the Almond Plus. This was a router that I backed on Kickstarter. Uh, they came out with a Almond, which was the first touchscreen router. And they're known, or they say they're known, for a router for humans. And it only takes three minutes to set this router up. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I do want to say that this was supposed to be delivered to me September of last year and they didn't get to me till just yesterday so that was quite a bit of a wait and I'm really excited to check this out because not only is it a router but you can also uh, hook it up to home cameras, home lights and also motion detectors. It's kind of like a smart hub which I don't have any of the sensors but if this works good I do plan on getting a few. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this up. As soon as I have this set up I'm going to go ahead and uh, see exactly how long it takes. It does take me three minutes to set up because that would be that'd be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open it up here. And there it is. It's pretty thin. It's thinner than I actually thought it would be. So that's that. We'll see what else they include in here. Got an Ethernet cord, looks like possibly a mounting bracket, some rubber feet, here's the power source, and looks like another mounting bracket, maybe it mounts here on the back and it stands up. Okay, so I got everything, all the cords undone. I'm gonna go ahead and see how long it takes me to set it up now. Uh, I've ran a cord from downstairs. This is plugged into my modem from downstairs. So I may not have to use their included cord, we'll see. But we'll go ahead and start the clock now. All right. Let's just plug it in. Okay, I just plugged it in, it's not even turning on, that's not good. Okay, well I just plugged it into the outlet behind me and it did the same thing, it waited a little bit but then it actually did start up so maybe you just have to let it sit for a little bit. So we're going to have to start the clock again. <laughs> I don't know if there's a loose power cord. There we go, it started up now. It says Securify. I'm supposed to touch it. Hmm. So I guess I'm just waiting around right now. Oops, here we go home. What I just touch over there. Okay, let's go through here. Internet settings. Is there a setup? Software update, wireless settings, status. Let's go to internet settings. And we have the cable modem. Please wait, saving, do not unplug. Now I haven't even actually connected the ethernet cord to this yet, so I would assume it would tell me to. We'll see. Cable disconnected, done. Your Almond router is set up. Hmm, okay, hit finish. There's no way it can be set up. Let's go ahead and plug it in here. So here's the wireless name, the wireless password. Okay, so I should be able to find that on my phone. I think we're probably under three minutes still too. Let's see. Turn on my Wi-Fi. Here's the almond. 
by golly. And here I can probably change my password, but I'm just going to enter the one they have. 73RHGSQ. I bet capitals matter on this. Go back. R H G S Q T join. And I'm connected, so let's go ahead and see getting some errors here huh so I'm connected to the router but this router isn't connected to the modem or it's not picking up the modem so I had to save my settings there is so maybe I'll be able to get it after this. Right. What I may need to do is unplug my modem and plug it back in and then see if this works. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. All right, guys, so I'm back up here. All I did was went downstairs and unplugged my modem. Sometimes when you set up a new router or you're having router issues, you just need to reset your modem. So that's all I had to do. That's all I did. And I now have internet. So uh, it's, it's working. So with that being said, it take me three minutes. I don't know because it took a little bit to start up. So I don't know if it quite passed that three minute test, but I do want to show you something real quick. I'm going to zoom in on here. So this is the interface of the Almond Plus. And it was pretty neat because when I didn't know, you know, exactly if I was connected, I just went to status right here. And status, this said everything that it was doing. It said internet disconnected. Uh, before it said the cable was disconnected. And it shows the connected devices. I'm not sure if you can touch these. No, you can't. But then it also uh, has your IP address down here, the what's transmitted and received. So that's pretty neat. And if I want to change my password, which I'm going to do, I'm sure it's easy to do. I would just, let's see, go here. I can change this. And look, it's got a keyboard right there on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And just rename it. And it was that easy to rename, so that's pretty cool. I'm letting it save real quick. And then we will uh, change the password to something that is a little bit easier, but I probably won't show you that. Awesome, so I was able to change the password and everything, and that's that. Now this does have two different mounts. Like I said, this one I think goes to the wall. You would screw this piece to the wall, and then it just snaps into the back of the Almond Plus. However, mine's gonna be on this piece, and I believe you just snap it right down here, like that, and boom. So. That's the Almond Plus. I'll uh, do a little bit more videos on this once I learn a little bit more about it, but it's a touchscreen router, and as you can see, it was pretty simple to set up, and it's all right here on the screen itself. So, thanks for watching.